in the following question a situation is given so this is a situation okay this is a situation followed by three options these options each containing a few words that may or may not accurately describe the situation choose the option that correctly describes the situation so you have to choose the option that has the words which correctly describes the situation okay let's read hibakusha is the japanese word for those affected by the august 1945 atomic bombings of hiroshima and nagasaki okay so hibashika is used for people who were affected by august 1945 atomic bombings in hiroshima and nagasaki survivors that is japan's Hiba, uh, hibakusha community do not wish to do not wish to discuss their experience so the survivors this means the people who survived the atomic bombings because most of the people died but there were few people who survived they do not want to discuss their experiences okay due to a limited understanding of radiation poisoning's long term effects many japanese avoided or outright abused those affected out of fear that their ailments were contagious okay so why did the survivors avoid it to discuss their experiences they do not want they did not want or do not want to uh, discuss their experiences because people that is the japanese avoided the survivors because the japanese thought that the ailments that is the diseases because of this radiation poisoning are contagious contagious means can be spread from one person to another this misconception so this is a misconception these elements are not contagious this misconception coupled with a widespread unwillingness to revisit the bombings uh, and japan subsequent surrender led most hibakusha to keep their trauma to themselves so because of this misconception now there are two reasons why the hibakusha do not want to discuss first is the misconception that people think that the ailments are contagious misconception and the second is that people don't want to remember those incidents okay so unwilling uh, so they don't want to recollect recollect the bad incidents okay fine now which of the following words correctly describe the situation unawareness unawareness means what lack of awareness lack of knowledge yes because people there thought that uh, this uh, disease the diseases were contagious but this was not this was a misconception so unawareness can we say yes unawareness stigma stigma means what a negative thought associated with a particular incident okay associated with something like um, still now we can say that widow remarriage is a stigma right so stigma is also correct here what is the stigma the stigma is that the ailments were contagious okay reluctance means what reluctance lack of wish okay so reluctance yes reluctance is also correct why because here unwillingness to revisit the bombings from here we can say reluctance is correct ordeal ordeal means what ordeal means trauma or difficulty problems okay so here we have trauma so ordeal is also correct ostracize means what to ban ban a particular sect of people ban a ban a particular person okay ostracize means ban or to uh, actually to shut someone to shut out someone okay so here ostracize is also correct because japanese people avoided or outright abused those affected so this means that they ostracized these people okay so from here we can say ostracize is also correct okay in the third option if you look at the word regret regret means what lament okay lament 
to feel bad for a situation. So this regret word does not fit here. Okay, fine. Regret word does not fit here because regret means uh, showing, you know, remorse. Then uh, your uh, to uh, show a feeling of uh, sadness, sorrow. So here, remorse, sorrow, lament, these things are not there. That's why option three is your incorrect option. Option three is your incorrect. So first and second, these two are the correct options. So answer is only one and two. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Now this is the next question. As millions were killed in death camps like Auschwitz, the Jews in Poland's capital city were held captive by German army and subjected to starvation, forced labor and disease. The meaning is that in the death camps, millions of people were killed. And in Poland's capital city, the Jews were imprisoned. Were held captive means what? Imprisoned. That is, they were confined by the German army. And they were not given food. That is starvation. They were forced to work. And, and they were given disease. Okay. So, they were sick. To combat the spread of disease, that is to prevent the spread of disease, uh, the Jews have had success in using community containment. That is to prevent the spread of disease, they used community containment. Containment means what? Containment, like uh, containment means actually uh, to keep them separate. Keep the people or keep the infected people separate. Okay. Uh, then, uh, not unlike the social distancing efforts recommended today. So, uh, this containment was not like the social distancing method recommended today in the struggle against COVID-19. The historical record shows that an epidemic of typhus. So, here we are talking about typhus which is an epidemic. And uh, this epidemic was deadly but preventable. But it could be prevented and this was a bacterial disease ravaged the population that is this de destroyed the population and then somehow the cases dropped dramatically that is the number of infected people dropped uh, dropped considerably or dramatically okay now we have a few words here let's look at them if we go with if we look at the second option the second one isolation isolation means what to keep uh, to uh, keep uh, the some people to keep some people uh, separate from the others, right? So, isolation here, if you see, here, if you see, uh, community containment. Now, this shows us that isolation was done, okay? So, this is correct. Fatal. Fatal means what? Fatal means deadly, deadly, deadly. So, death camps were there. So, this means that these were deadly. Then, here, this sentence talks about this epidemic typhus which was deadly. So, de fatal is also correct. Okay. Next, outbreak. Outbreak means spread of disease. Spread of disease. So, here you have disease. Here again spread of illness. So, this is correct. Hardship means struggle, difficult time, suffering. Right? Suffering. So, here if you see people were Subjected to starvation, forced labor and disease. This means hardship was also there. Imprisoned means held captive, okay, confined, not, uh, they were not uh, allowed to go out. So, here you have held captive. So, this is also correct, okay. Affliction means disease. So, yes, disease was there. So, this is also correct. Suppression means what? Suppression means to conquer to defeat to dominate so yes jews in poland's capital city were held captive by the german army so this means the german army suppressed the jews so suppression was also there so your answer is all one two and three 
Next question is, if protesters could plan a perfect stage to voice their grievances, it might look like, uh, a lot like Athens, Greece. That is, if protesters, grievances means what? Complaints. If protesters could get or could arrange a perfect place to to channelize or uh, to, you know, to express their complaints, grievances, it might look a lot like Athens, Greece. Why? It's broad, yet not overly long. Central boulevards are almost tailor-made for parroting. This means what? In Athens, Greece, in Athens, Greece, the roads are broad yet not very long okay boulevard means what street streets so the streets are broad but not very long and almost tailor-made means what customized it looks that it looks like the streets are customized for parading parading means marching so if protesters um, you know if people protest if uh, activists protest what do they do they parade with their you know banners and everything right so parroting its large parliament facing square syntagma forms a natural focal point for marchers so this place forms a focal point for the marchers that is a marcher start from this place with a warren warren means what a densely populated place a densely populated area okay so with a warren of narrow streets, so narrow streets that are densely populated surrounding the center. So the streets are surrounding the center, uh, including the rebellious district of Exarchia. It is often remarkably easy for demonstrators to steal away if the going gets rough. So this means what? That the streets are uh, densely populated surrounding the center and uh, surrounding the center uh, including the rebellious district of exertia which means what this district of greece this district of uh, greece has many protesters okay then los angeles by contrast is a disaster for protesters so los angeles uh, is a disaster for protesters means what it is not very good for protesters it is not protester friendly okay so los angeles is not protester friendly unlike your greece it has no wholly recognizable center why because los angeles does not have any center if there is no center then where will the protesters gather the protesters have to gather somewhere and then start parading all right fine Next uh, is few walkable distances. So walkable distances are also very less. So where will they parrot? Where will they march? And little in the way of protest friendly space. So protest friendly space is also not there. As far as long time city activists are concerned, just amassing small crowds. Uh, amassing means what? Gathering. Just gathering small crowds can be an achievement. So if you, uh, if, you know, activists are able to gather only a small crowd, that is also an achievement. So it is very difficult to even gather small crowds okay okay now this one it is often remarkably easy for demonstrators to steal away if the going gets rough this means that uh, the demonstrators that is the protesters can hide steal away means what hide if the protest gets rough okay so now let's uh, look at the options assembling assembling means what assembling means gathering so here you have this word uh, gathering here amassing 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 means what gathering okay gathering so assembling is also correct this is also correct okay conducive means what favorable favorable okay so here you can find this thing tailor-made tailor-made for parroting this means what favorable customized for parroting that is very much favorable so this word is also correct okay now violent this word comes from this point that if it if the going gets rough if protesters plan to stage voice their uh, grievances it might look a lot like athens greece it's broad yet not very long boulevards are tailor-made for 
parroting its large parliament facing squares in Tecma forms a natural focal point for marchers with a warren of narrow streets surrounding the center including the rebellious city, um, district of Exarchia. It is often remarkably easy for protesters to steal away if the going gets rough. Going gets rough means what if the protest becomes violent. Okay, So this is also correct. Fine. So Los Angeles by contrast is a disaster for protesters. Fine. So here, okay, now rally. Rally means what? Rally means protesting, marching for protesting, right? March for protest. So rally is also a correct word from here, parroting. But illicit means what? Illicit means illegal. Illegal is incorrect because nowhere it is mentioned. Okay, nowhere it is mentioned. In Los Angeles, protest is difficult. Protesting is difficult. Okay, but not illegal. So that's why this is wrong. Option three is wrong. Now demands. So to voice their grievances, their complaints. So they have some demands, right? That is why they are complaining. So this is also demands. This is also correct. Okay, so your right answer is one and two. Option A. Guys, today at 11 a.m., there will be a free quiz on sentence rearrangement, okay? So, to attend the quiz, please download the Unacademy app. And after downloading, go to this section, Tests, okay? And from there, go to Join Quiz, okay? This one, Join Quiz. And once you click on this Join Quiz, you will be prompted to enter a code, okay? There, please enter this code, 858268. Please enter this code. And after that, please join the quiz at 11 a.m. Don't forget that, okay? Uh, so, I will be announcing the names of uh, the people who will be in the leaderboard. So, I'll be announcing their names in the Telegram channel. So, please don't forget attending the quiz. This is a quiz on sentence rearrangement. There will be 10 questions. 10 questions total. And for each question, you will get 20 seconds. Okay. So, please attend the quiz.